Day three. Day three of the summer cut. Today we're getting a thing of a chest workout, some tries, just a normal kind of bro chest workout. You know, we'll have all the classics. Bench. Bench. I don't know. What are Chest day is sick at like a real gym. Where you got the fucking chest press machines and all that shit. It's fucking insane. But here we're gonna have to just do probably flat bench, incline bench. I have it all written down, so I'm just a little fucking stupid. The tiger's blood. Pretty good. Pretty good. The flavor's a little fucking weird. I used to not like it as much, but I, I, I did a... I used fucking the peach, like, uh, the peach flavor from raw for a while. And then when I came back to this one, it tasted a lot better, I'm gonna be honest. So, the only downside of this is that it doesn't mix as well as like some other ones it's a little more chalky but overall it's pretty good but i'm gonna sip on this for a few minutes and then we'll get to the workout chest day chest day um I did a few reps, nothing on the bar, and I feel a little twinge in my shoulder, so I'm gonna warm up slow, just go into it light, so as to not um, reduce my shoulder to ash. Uh, also, look who's back. I'm just gonna do this a fuck ton. <sighs> Try and get my shoulder warmed up so I don't die. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. All right, fuck it. Let's load it up. Let's start with 25. since the last recording. I got a business call. Full of business. I'm a very business focused man. Despite the fact that I'm fucking unemployed, but business.
which is tough because I want to go closer to failure, but the closer to failure I go, uh, my shoulder starts to flare up, and then also I don't have a spotter, so if I drop it, it's a real pain in the ass to get, <laughs> to get it off me. Like, it's not the end of the world, I don't think I'm going to die, but I don't think I'm going to get really hurt that bad, but it's just kind of annoying to have to roll the weights off or roll it down to your fucking hips. Cause that shit hurts. That that was like my more go-to way of getting it off me, but that fucking hurts. You end up like rolling it over. You you rolling a, a barbell over your fucking ribs and over and onto your cock, and then you gotta stand up with it. it sucks. I don't have two tens, so we got the double fives going on over here. But I want to be able to do more reps of like 185. So hopefully, you know, soon I'll be able to do more than like, I can do like three, four reps, like three reps of 185, like more pretty consistently. But past that, it's a little shaky. I could probably press out four, five is pushing it. See, like there, I pro I might have been able to hit five. I probably should have at least tried for five. It would have been more optimal to go to the, for that fifth rep, but I don't have a spotter. And I don't feel like rolling these weights off right now. That would suck. a pretty good example of what I was saying I didn't want to happen I got to the I got to the I put the fourth rep up and I was like oh that was pretty tough I don't I don't know if I can do a fifth but for some reason I just said fuck it knowing I probably wouldn't be able to get it up and I was not able to I'm gonna do incline then we're gonna do some uh, cable flies then we'll do then we'll go on to triceps Try to push down, skull crushers, that kind of shit.
I'm not risking that one. Oh, I'm not risking that one. No way. Uh-uh. It's one thing to fail on a flat bench. Failing on incline is a whole nother story. <laughs> not risking it. Oh, felt good though. No shoes on this. No shoes. It's gross. But, um, so I did three sets of incline. Now we're going to do some single arm uh, chest flies. Or not chest flies, uh, I guess cable press. And yeah, that'll be it for chest. So let's hit it. This cable machine I only got a little over a week ago. So I'm still getting used to it and what the things I could do on it are. Because it's not ad it's only like it's like forty bucks on Amazon. So it's pretty it's pretty good for for that, but it's definitely no like real cable machine. It doesn't compare. Uh especially it has, you know, you, it has the two settings, so I can do curls on it and I can do push downs and stuff like that but you know it takes it's gonna take me a minute to figure out the angles and how to effectively use this because I've never used anything that's as simple it's a very simple little cable machine but I mean hey if you're working with a home gym it definitely definitely gets the job done I mean it's better than nothing fucking one of the biggest things that I wish I could do when I was down here before was like cable press, like tricep pushes, tricep press downs, those push downs, I don't know, those. I fucking was so annoyed that I couldn't do those. And this, this fixes that. So, I mean, just for that, it's worth it. But also the cable curls are good on it. Uh, in the in the like pulling position it isn't as good because this the I don't even know how to describe how it works in a pulling position I I don't know you'll see it like in another day I'm not changing this thing it's kind of it's not hard but it's just a little annoying
that's another downside. You're gonna get hit in the fucking face one of these days. Shit. Alright, day two's a wrap. Wait, three, day three. It was a pretty, I'd say it's a pretty successful chest and tries day. We give the pump a little check out. Oh. I mean, it's pretty good. Despite being one of the despite being the muscle group I've probably trained the longest, it's one of my the chest is I don't know. It's one of my more lacking parts of my physique. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's a wrap. That's a wrap for day three. It's a pretty, it was a pretty successful chest day, I'd say. Um, I wish I could do a more standard like chest press. If I had the machine, that'd be awesome. Or like a pec deck, would be sick. But I don't. So I think all considered, with all that considered, I'd say it was pretty successful. Successful. So. Yeah, day two is already up. It's been up for a few hours. This will be up tomorrow, uh, probably around noon. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you on uh, day four. Ooh, be surprised what that is. It's back, it, it's back.